This is Dolany TV, guys. Let's take a moment to take a breath. I'm gonna breathe, you guys are gonna leave a like. We're trying to hit 20 likes on this episode, okay? That's where we're headed is 20 likes. Plain and simple, if you guys want me to keep going, you gotta make sure I know you're supporting me. That's all I care is just make sure I know. I don't care about the views, I care about you guys making sure I know and that's leaving a like. So obviously, we're doing some franchise mode in NHL 18, my first NHL 18 video of the year. Let me tell you, I am pumped for it. Couldn't be more excited. It's uh, finally got some time to myself, so let's go rip this. Let's rip a classic GM mode. Now, you can see by the title which way I'm going, but I'll show you in a second here. As, uh, oh yeah, you better believe it. We're going with Yager is the GM name right here. As a uh, whole theme for this is obviously Yarmir Yager coming to the Calgary Flames. If you guys have been around the channel long enough, you know I did the Calgary Flames in NHL 16 so it's nice to come back and do them obviously we need to figure out about upgrading the Scotia Bank Saddle Dome uh, customized 31st AHL team no we don't need to worry about that division realignment obviously we're gonna have the Vegas Golden Knights in the good old Pacific Division and other than that you see how everything else goes around we could totally screw with everything right here that's not what I'm gonna do and we're gonna go make sure we're rocking owner mode. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna keep it on right there. NHL salary cap on, firing waivers, morale meetings. Actually, I'm gonna turn off uh, turn off morale meetings. I've just never loved that, so we're not going there. And other than that, CPU trades, auto finance, accept relocation, auto sign free agents all off. Yeah, let's go. And one thing we need to make sure of in the rules and settings is we change the gameplay sliders to knock down the injury occurrence. That's the only thing I do. Obviously doing simulations, you know I have to I have to knock these down heavily or else we have an issue with it and down to about 10 is where I can go with it. Sorry, I gotta, I used my phone to record the face cam so I got a text message in, a quite important one this morning. So please pardon me if I stop, stare at my phone and start again. Of course, it's been a while since I last did this, so you know I've also got to contend with that, but you guys will be good with that. I am sure just happy to have me back. I am happy to be back. Of course, the Calgary Flames, the Stockton Heat, getting ready for a big season here with Yarmir Yager on the right wing. I'm excited to see what's going on. Maybe move him up to the top line with Monty and Goudreau. We'll see. Johnny, Johnny Hockey and Monty getting it done with Good old Ageless Wonder Yarmir Yager. Uh, that'd be a good one. I'd actually like that a lot. We'll find out if we end up doing that. If not, it'll all be okay, but we'll find out. As here we go. Let's get this rolling, boys. I am pumped beyond pumped, let me tell ya. <sighs> all right, so obviously in the preseason, you start with the Edmonton Oilers. That's a given, that's fine. First thing we need to do is go and see, uh, looks like upgrade and maintain. The arena has some stuff to do. Upgrade and maintain, let's go see what's going on at the arena. Concession looks good, team store looks okay. What is in disarray? Of course the bathrooms, man. I've never heard about the bathrooms at the Saddle Dome, so hey, if, you're, if you wanna tell me about the bathrooms at the Saddle Dome, please do. I'd like to know the quality I'm working with, that's for sure, actually all the facilities. I know they're trying to get that new arena and it's a big old fight with the city, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad, I don't know. So Yarmir Yager on the top line uh, right now as it stands, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna get Mr. Michael Froelich up there. I'm gonna get Froelich up there and that'll give Kachuk, Backlund, and Yager. I'm not following the real life flames. If I did, cool, whatever, but Yager's rated a little bit better in this game, so we're gonna work with that this year. Christopher Stieg, Bennett and Brower on that third line. That's a dusty third line, man. Christopher Stieg can snipe like 30 goals this year on that third line and really, really look good. Curtis Lazar, Matt Stajan, and Michael Berland. All right, let's go to the defense. What do we got? Giordano, Hamilton, Brody Hamannick, Kulak, and Stone. Who are we missing? We gotta be missing someone. Bartkowski is the guy I'm thinking of, and uh, 
You know what? I will keep in for right now, Brett Kulak. Let's go down to the AHL. See what we got in the AHL. I want to see. We've got Keith Hawley, who somehow, after a failed stint with the Edmonton Oilers, is still somewhere around the NHL. You got two former Columbus Blue Jackets sitting here on the top D pairing in Calgary. Tyler Witherspoon, you know what? We'll get him up there in place of Keith Hawley. Rasmus Anderson, actually, Rasmus Anderson, you got to go up there and sit on that top D pair. Man, can't be messing around with a prospect like that. Olus Matson, well, he's he's not that great looking as a 21-year-old seventh defenseman potential. So we'll keep that in mind. Of course, the offense. Morgan Klimchuk, 22 years old. You would remember him, that 85 overall vet we had. On that 2016 Calgary Flames roster, he was the only Calgary Flame left, I think, at the end we had started with, so that's an interesting fact for you. Jankowski, Hunter Shinkurik, who's not coming together. Garnett Hathaway, Cremorosa, Emil Poirier, of course, another one we really want to push, and Poirier ended up being another really good Calgary Flame for us for quite a few years on that franchise mode, so guys, you know what comes up. Hunter Smith ended up somehow getting up to elite potential. Don't ask me, don't mind me. I don't know what happened there last time around, so we'll see if that happens again. Peely, uh, Vervik, I think they picked, uh, I don't think they picked him up from the Oilers. I was going to say that. Gazdick, of course, is going to scrap for the AHL club, Mike McMurdy. And then you've got Austin Carroll, who, he's an AHL guy. He'll fill in, he'll fill in. Nothing wrong there. Uh, goalies, let's see what we got in the goalies. John Gillies, medium starter potential, he could be useful. If not, we'll trade him at the deadline and see what we can get for him. And the other thing too, I gotta ask who's scratched and you see uh, no one of real, real note, I guess is how I'd put it. Tyler Parsons, a backup goaltender, he's scratched, so what do we got in the goaltending department? We've got Dean Richter or Richer, whatever that is, so we are gonna go get Tyler Parsons in as the backup starter because you know what if we can get a 19 year old started along his way in the AHL already that would be huge and other than that you've got Lombard and Finley so nobody really of uh, of note that we need to keep in touch with down here in the AHL so that is as simple as it gets for the roster overview guys that looks great I like how this team looks uh, league-wise, don't have anything else to say. Just need to get into the preseason and see how our team looks. Let's go, I'm ready. I am ready for my first preseason sim in over a year. It's gonna be good. And you know what, we've got seven opponents, so let's go up to the game just after the Kings, October 1st. Uh, Yager, it's a new season. Ooh, tell Yager it's a new season, he's pumped. Uh, 75 mil is the salary cap. I'm done with that scouting assignment. Let's go find ourselves that next, next top prospect in the QMJHL for one month. Find out what's there. Uh, allocate budget, of course. That's what we'll do. We will allocate the budget, no problem. And I always, you know, I'm a fan of spending on the arena facilities and then advertising, of course, to get those season tickets up. Save that budget. Let's go. And it's an 8-3 win against the Edmonton Oilers. Damn, that feels good, boys. That feels good. I would love to do the Edmonton Oilers this year. I gave it over to my friend X Snipes Gaming, and he's he's done serviceably with a couple of episodes. Of course, he's going through some life stuff, so it's tough to tough to stay up with YouTube when you're going through life stuff. Obviously, that's where I've been. So keep up with me, right? And waivers will be in effect, and we ended up getting wins. So we ended up winning three two in the shootout. Of course, started that hot. Started the preseason really hot, like really, really really hot I really like that I'm uh, sounding like a certain politician down there in the States and oh my god oh yes those numbers look godly for Yarmir Yager four goals three assists seven points in seven games who were our studs in the preseason obviously Yager Goudreau Brody had seven assists go believe that one Sean Monahan six points Troy Brower is that that third line, I told you. I told you that dusty third line would get it done. They didn't score a lot of goals other than Brower scoring the four, but man, oh man, five points each, that's huge. Chuck Furland, uh, Lazar, Backlund, Hamannick, Frolik really struggled. I don't know what was going on with Frolik. And you see three guys didn't register points. That's Stajan, Stone, and Kulak. Those are the guys I expect not to register points, so it's all good right there. Goaltender-wise, 
We had Mike Smith blow it up. Oof, 889 average. Ooh, that's terrible. And then a 3.18 goals against. That's, you know what? Eddie Lack looked better, and he's only a 79 this year. So let's caution it back a little bit, boys. Nobody had shutouts, 16 goals against, 145 shots faced, nobody had points, don't need to worry about where they were drafted. Big thing is, goaltending might cost us games this year, but the offense with Yarmir Yager, Johnny Gaudreau, Troy Brody, or TJ Brody, I always say Troy, please forgive me if you're just signing on to Dolany TV right now, subscribe, of course, but uh, please forgive me if I say Troy Brody, I don't know why. There used to be a Troy Bodie in the league, and I used to know him more than TJ Brody. That's where I'm going with that. Sean Monahan, two goals, four assists. Guys, that's all I got for you. Oh, yeah, we're back. We are back with this episode today. Hopefully, uh, continue it on a streak of every second day we'll have an episode or something similar to that. We'll find out. Guys, thank you for tuning in. This has been Dolany TV. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like, and I will catch you guys, as always, in the next one.